Hey, uh, so hopefully this will be the last video uh, of the series. It's been uh, quite long to uh, long process making this tutorial series. I have made a lot of mistakes, which uh, you probably um, not going to show up in the final video, of course. But there's many bloopers and errors uh, done. So bear with me. Let's uh, let's try and wrap this thing up. In this video, we will try to add the uh, Arenas uh, damage model to uh, compare with the uh, cumulative equivalent minute uh, prediction. So let's uh, again use the cheat that I have, and we're going to define the uh, omega, if you will. This is d omega dt. So under variables, we're going to define that. This is uh, well. In my other console model, I used uh, I had to compare two uh, different cell uh, two cell lines, but in this one, I think uh, one is good enough, and you guys can probably figure out the other ones, which is exactly the same, but just a different uh, A and a EA values. Okay, so we need also define the natural log of A. And EEA are gas universal gas constant and the parameter. So for the universal gas constant, I don't think I need to look that up. Our gas equals to 8.314. And this is uh, units of joules per mole per Kelvin. All right. And then uh, what other thing? Uh, natural A. So the A1 and EA, we need to define that. And you find the natural log of A, of A1, which is the log of, log by itself is just natural log in comes all. all right, now let's put A in there. Uh, let's cheat again. Parameters, what's my value for A? So A is 1.66, E to the 91. These value, values are typically high. And EA is 5.68, E to the fifth joules per mole. All right. I think I should do it. Uh, well, not quite. E A one, okay, I define as E A one. Guess I use two different cell lines over there. Okay. Uh, now we have that let's uh quickly save this thing. I'm gonna add another PDE to our simulation. So recently used, so let's select that and then I'm gonna put Arenas in the field for good referencing, and this one is uh, big omega, omega one. Okay, finished. Okay, again, there's no gradients in there. It's an isotropic medium, and then make sure, make sure you deselect the other domains uh, crap. go on the top see what I did there you cannot specify under here it has to be on the top level and then of course this will default down and the forcing function right I remember we're using the first order differential equation in here to solve and we'll cheat again cheating again Okay, so the reason why we're using a minimum uh, of 10 in this thing is because we don't want the uh, d omega dt to get out of hand and that will explode. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it will be a lot more efficient for COMSOL because a d omega dt above 10 is uh, quite unreasonable once you integrate it to get omega, which becomes really big. Uh, a rate of one is pretty pretty fast. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, the Omega D1 is, is pretty good. And uh, anything above 10, just ignore, basically. Okay, and uh, hopefully that's all we need. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this thing as AT1 uh, PDE. Let's put 2, and then of course this is uh, G2. AT1 is the name of the cell line. Uh, I'm analyzing. Okay, let's look at the uh, uh, dependent variable. Is it solving for it? Yes. And is it? No, crap. It's trying to solve for that one. So unselect this one. So make sure you unselect that. Another way is to actually delete this and redo it again. Uh, and it will sort things out. But the, yeah, just try to understand this and just play around when you, you get it. But as for now, uh, just understand that there's two parts. Uh, one is the frequency, and the other one is the transient part. Frequency, you don't want to analyze the transient. And transient, you want to analyze everything. OK. And let's hope for the best. I'm actually uh, kind of scared that it's going to generate an error and have to redo the video again. Y you guys should actually uh, try to make uh, your own video tutorial sometime. Yeah. It's a in interesting process. Um, by the way, I'm using Snagit to um, record my uh, tutorial. Just FYI, so it looks like it went through the uh, the thing went through. So now we have the damage omega. We need to uh, add the uh, no omega is not the damage uh, value. It's just uh, a rate a, con a rate constant, right? So let's go ahead and add damage. Rename this to AT1 damage. And then uh, add surface. And then in the expression, we need to use 1 minus EXB to the negative of omega 1. And that should do it. That should do it. Yeah. Uh, should we just do 100%? OK, it doesn't matter preference. Alright, and let's uh, see. So here, in the red region is 99% damage, all dead. Oh, not all dead, but mostly dead. Let's go ahead and add a contour to this thing, showing the uh, CEM43 uh, comparison. Uh, number levels, let's do uh, specify the levels, uh, 30, 60 and 90. All right, let's zoom in and look what's going on here. Uh, also, let's switch the uh, legend. Okay, thermal light. All right, so 90 minutes here, uh, uh, 60 and 30. There. So how close is the track? Uh, well, another way to analyze this is using the cut point stuff. Uh, let me quickly save this thing. Yeah, it's probably hard to understand the uh, try and compare the, these two different predictions. Uh, you want to probably do the 1D plot, do the point graph, and then do the cut points, and then do CEM, not CEM, uh, the damage, right? Uh, let's let's uh, yeah. Let's first add the damage from the arenas, which is we use the equation here. No biggie. All right. Uh, yep. 
So that's the damage at those points that we specified earlier in our cut point uh, 2D here. Recall that. Remember that? So we're applying those, uh, the damage over time at those four points. And the last thing I want to do is I want to plot uh, a second plot along with that to compare the CM damage the prediction also. So remember CM is the time. Yeah, uh, oh. Well, let me quickly cheat. Cheat. I just don't want to redo the video again if I do anything wrong. Um, let me go ahead and open up my file that I should have. Alright. So, okay. Bear with me, almost there, we almost done with this. Da 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 It gets pretty big, the file gets pretty big once you um you know, increase the mesh. Mainly the mesh uh, influence the file size. Mine goes to 600 megabytes per file here. So I just want to copy the equation here. And it's getting like I was didn't want to, don't want to think too much. So here's the damage equation. Uh, we just copy and paste. And this one. CM. I have not defined the rate constant for a CM. We need to define that. Uh, so we need to define that in our parameter list. Looks like we need to run this again. Or do we? Let me just replace that. Uh, that that's a little hard to follow, right? But I think let's just try and run this, and I'll explain it so that you guys uh, have some idea what's going on. Is it plotting? It looks like we need to wrap. Well, um, yeah, let me finish this in the next video. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell this is, uh, why is it not plotting. But it should plot to be something like this. It's probably me to run this again. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut point. Okay. Okay, good. I don't have to make this video again. It's dreadful to make a video like two, three times. So let's set the... Uh, Markers, C squares, great. Uh, show legends, okay, okay. And then uh, legend manual. I want to do CM. Alright, uh, yeah, thanks for being patient. Um, 
just getting tired. It's getting really late <laughs> making these videos. All right, so you notice that the CM tracks pretty well. Um, yeah, it tracks pretty well with the arenas. Probably not so good at a certain point, but it's it's d decent. Okay, it's decent. Uh, yeah. Okay. The reason why I think that it's not tracking as well down here is because these are a lower temperature point and we're using a 0.25 for those values. And um, if you actually did the calculation for our value for the AT1 cell using the parameters I, 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 I wrote down here, it actually turned out to be RCM should be 0.5. So whenever you use uh, different values in that, then there's going to be uh, some discrepancy. Yes. Um, yeah. So I guess that's the whole point of this video, just to get the, uh, get you guys get started thinking about uh, CEM43 and arenas damage and how you can actually use comps all to analyze these various things. Uh, it took me a while to actually learn how the ins and outs, but it does come I mean like no I mean you get it uh, eventually um, if you work uh, hard enough I guess I guess I'll end this video for now and just put in comments or tell me what you think I'm re getting really tired alright see you next time bye